What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name's Mia and thank you so much for stopping by today. We're going to be working on Diana's home. I am only doing the interior. As you can see, I still haven't figured out the exterior, but Diana seems to be okay with that. So as always, if you enjoy speed builds like this, please like this video, hit that subscription button and turn on those notifications as I do try to put out new content weekly. So we're gonna have two stories in this house. I'm gonna start with the bottom floor, making it a 10 by 10. And in this area, we're gonna go ahead and create a little yoga studio along with a massage area as well. Diana's original request was a place to meditate. So I wanted a nice area where you can come in and relax and you know, just kind of let all of that stress melt away. And I actually used to do yoga, so that's kind of the idea of why I chose to go with a yoga and massage studio. And then I'm also originally from the desert, so that's why I really love this landscape. I just kind of want it to feel like you're looking outside. But as you can see, I've got the glow in the dark sticker item, and this is how we place codes on the wall. So remember, you do need this item in order to achieve these looks. I did find my item in a bottle on the beach, and from there, I like to just multiply using the R button. And then for me, when I'm building, what's the easiest thing to do is when I multiply a section of a code, I then just press the X button and I customize it and I choose the next code that I'd like to have displayed on the wall. But I think this is really pretty because it just looks like you pulled the curtains open and you've got this really beautiful scenic view with all of those mountains in the background or um, it kind of reminds me of Utah actually, but basically that's how you add the codes to the wall. And then I'm going to start off with the back portion of this room, creating the little massage area. But you know, I kind of took a while figuring out what kind of bed I wanted to use because I really wanted to have the whole aesthetic of a massage room. But once I found the Zen bench, I love how it looks like it's got a little sheet draped over it and that's kind of you know when you go into a studio like this they're constantly changing the sheets and then the other cool thing is if you ever use a bench or some of the table items you can place other items on top of it so I thought it was really cute putting these cushions on there and it just kind of looks like a little bed now but the cool thing is you can still sit on it since it's a bench so unlike the tables you know can't sit on those even though in the real world you can, but not in the Animal Crossing Kingdom. But basically that's the idea here. I just want it to feel like really calming using these white colors, beige, just really natural feeling. And then I feel like the bottle, those bottles look like a bunch of different lotions or massage oils, but it's just really pretty. So I will be back in a moment as this area starts to come together and discuss some more of the process and ideas behind the yoga studio. divide up this room as I'm using the wooden wall partitions and I really like how that they are see-through and they've just got these boards in between them so you can still see the back side of the room and what's going on there so it just adds a little variation and different ways you can create division in your rooms but we're gonna also have a little reception area here so like when you're coming to check in for class you're hanging out waiting so on the right side, I've got some magazines, some couches. 
I feel like with the update, a lot of us have just been mainly sticking to the 2.0 items. So it's really nice getting to use the box sofa again because I didn't use it originally when the game first came out. But I just love the colors and the fact that those items already seamlessly go together. And then of course we're going to have some yoga mats here. So this is the area where Diana will be teaching her class. And whenever anyone wants to come over and take yoga with her, she is a great teacher. As you can see, she's got the total relaxing vibe. So also originally when I was creating this room, I was trying to stick to Diana's color palette. I wanted to have some pinks and purples in here, but I kind of struggle with that kind of color palette. But since Diana's also white, I just decided to go with a mainly white room here with a few neutral colors as well. And I think it makes it feel really nice, calming and relaxing. I also avoided over cluttering the room because I really wanted to have that nice zen feel to it. A little bit more on the minimalistic side here, especially if you're coming to relax, like I don't want it to feel like you're gonna trip over items. So that's the idea with the studio, along with Diana's loft that we'll be working on in a moment upstairs. But I just wanted to have, you know, that overall aesthetic to it. You'll also notice that the room is pretty bright right now. So we're gonna go into the settings as well and adjust the lighting because again, I wanted to feel really calm in this room. So I got rid of the windows and I like how it made the color, it kind of even has a little pinkish tone to it. But I just feel like it looks a lot more calming now and peaceful. So I'm gonna finish working on the yoga studio and then once we're upstairs in Diana's loft, I'll come back and discuss some more of my thought process there. Oh, but before I get going, there is a list of all of the items that I used both upstairs and downstairs. I have that at the end of the video. It's something new that I'm trying out. So let me know in the comments if this is really helpful for you and if you'd like me to include a item list in every video moving forward. So now we're upstairs and for Diana's loft, I am going to create a different sized room here. So I'm going to make it a 10 by 8. I don't know why whenever I think about a loft, I feel like the room has to either be narrow vertically or horizontally. So again, the same thing with the glow in the dark stickers. You do need that item to add these codes onto the wall. And I will go a little slow for adding the custom codes here as well just because I'm using multiple codes and I kind of want to make sure that you can see which codes are placed where if you choose to, you know, use any layout that I'm displaying here in this video. But I kind of wanted Diana to have a really nice kitchen. Again, the exact same color palette as downstairs, same flooring, same wallpaper, um, almost the same codes, but we're gonna add some cabinets here. That's where the kitchen's gonna come together. And then right here, I really like how this code looks so realistic. It really feels like you're opening the door to step outside and hang out on your beautiful balcony, just watching the sunset, especially desert sunsets are just some of the most prettiest sunsets ever. But this is gonna be where Diana's bedroom's gonna be. So we're gonna put a little cool bed there and then on the left side, a nice clean kitchen. And again, I'm trying to keep the kitchen pretty clean looking because like I said, Diana is just all about finding relaxation, peace, and I don't know about you guys, but nothing stresses me out more in my real home than having like a huge mess. And that's kind of the idea here. So you also will notice that Diana does not have a restroom as this build starts to come together. That kind of seems to be a pattern of mine. My poor villagers don't have restrooms, but basically I'm gonna put a custom code door in her bedroom 
So we basically can just kind of think about that her bathroom's back there along with a nice walk-in closet because Diana is definitely the type of queen who has a walk-in closet. And then I'm going to give her a nice little office. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, working on this living room area, I realized that I put a retro TV in her living room along with her bedroom. And the funny thing is, I am not the type of person who likes to have a bedroom. I mean, a bedroom. I like to have a bedroom, but I don't like to have a TV in my bedroom. And I have no idea who I just became because Diana has a TV in her bedroom and living room. And she's trying to live this whole zen life, relaxing. She wants to step away from technology. But I'm just going to say that Diana also creates yoga videos. So she's just constantly working on you know, her job, her studio, running it. So it's kind of like she probably doesn't sleep much. She is always on top of whatever she's trying to do. So we're also going to create a little office for her. But you'll notice that the patterns that I placed on those frames that I just hung up, those are actually able and stable patterns. So if you don't have a lot of codes, it's always nice to just check out what patterns were provided with you through the Able Sisters. So here's her nice little office area. This is where Diana makes all of her dreams come true because she does own the studio downstairs. And I just like how we've got these lockers and again, a nice clean look here. I wish my real life office looked like this, but these are the final touches to her studio. I'm gonna just let you enjoy the rest of the build, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the process as much as I enjoyed building it. So until next time, my friends, have a great rest of your day or night. Goodbye.